Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, we've got a special blind ready to go. Okay, so what exactly do we have going on here tonight, Shauna? I honestly don't know. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, it is a double blind for us that was sent to us from Gandy Road. Um, a lot of you probably, if you're paying attention to the Bourbon channels, you see Gandy's name out there all the time. Uh, we had the pleasure of meeting him a couple weeks ago in person. Um, he also donated a bottle of Eagle Rare to us for our trivia giveaways that we're doing on Wednesday nights um, this month of September and um, for the grand prize, I should say. So anyways, he was nice enough to send us this double blind. Um, got like little sample bottles marked and our little blind key for when we're ready to open it up. So honestly, I have no clue. I. I just like you, completely in the dark of what these are. But I can tell you one thing. I love the colors. It has really nice colors. It's funny, while you were talking, I was actually admiring the colors. They're, they're gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, they're nice, dark. I, I'm, I'm giddy. To, I wanted to, to ask you real quick, how does it feel to be in the dark? You've done that to me a few times. Um, the one time I remember was a really bad experience, but I don't feel Gandhi would do that to us. I doubt it. <laughs> I really doubt it. But I know that I put you in the dark all the time, so I apologize. I'm excited really? though. Honestly, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I am too. I am too. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this thing. We are. First with of that, I had a lot of caramel in the nose. Sweetness, a little bit of baking spice. Really picking up the caramel though. Nice nose. I'm still, sorry, I'm still trying to get a nose. First taste, I'm getting some tobacco, a little bit of char. Um, a little bit of baking spice. A drier than what I thought it would be for the nose because the nose is a little bit sweeter. A little bit proofy. Um, not overly proofed, I don't think, but it's proofy. I can, I can feel some heat. The proof hits you all in the right places, though. Mm -hmm, it does. It's nice. It's nice, warming, really nice. Mm. really smooth. It is. It is really smooth. Again, picking up um, that tobacco flavor with some dry oak, a little bit of char, the caramel, the vanilla is coming through. Um, a slight cocoa at the on the finish. Not a lot of sweetness to it. It's more drying, but it's overall like a very well-rounded pour. I like it. Nice and smooth. That particular pour is very viscous also. Uh, it's really got some legs on the glass. Um, the second sip was actually, didn't quite pack that punch in the heat category that the first sip right. And that was our first taste for the day. So that, was. that does make a difference. But you're right, the second sip, I didn't get as much heat as I did the first time. You're absolutely yeah. right on that. Yeah, it was really, I thought it was smooth after the first sip, but it's really smooth after the second one. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what number two is, but I can tell you it is finished in the, um, I always say it wrong. Ambrano? Yes, Ambrano cask. How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> I can smell what I always pick up on it is a little bit of that apple cinnamon. Um, that yep. Apple pie to me is what I always think about it. So definitely finished in that barrel. I'm going to be shocked if it's not. I love it. Oh. 
I'm not saying you're wrong, but to me that flavor is not quite as pronounced on the palate as it usually is. It's not, it's a little bit more drying. Um, I would almost say that's more of a cigar blend because maybe it has another finish in with it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little more complex than just that. Yeah, but on the nose, that's exactly what I get, but I can still taste it um, as well. I'm getting that apple cinnamon, but it's it's not as, like you said, not as pronounced, but it's there, it's, it's throughout. Um, also getting some baking spices, really heavy oak at the end. Definitely a lot of oak. Actually, a little bit of funk as well. Might be more of like a leathery type taste at the end. I really like it, it when it starts, and but at the, the finish of it, a little bit of funk mm -hmm. that I'm trying to figure out what it is. Again, definitely I think it's finished in the Amberano. Picking up those flavors, um, the apple, the cinnamon. Again, I think it's like a leather, like a, it's not the leather taste I usually get, but it's like a little bit of that into like, a, then it turns into something else. And I'm trying to figure out what that is. I'm not saying this is the funk you're getting, but um, I'm, I get a lot of char on the end of that. Another good pour. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking I like number one a little bit better at the moment. Or um, he he labeled these A B C D. I I did one two three four, but I'm thinking I like the first one a little one bit. One slash A. Yeah, yeah one slash, slash A. A one. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I think I like the nose on number three the best. Fruity. I think she gets more excited about each nose. <laughs> I I do. Um, it's a very fruity, sweet smelling whiskey. Smell a little bit of baking spices, but that fruit just nice. That's really nice. Caramel, vanilla, baking spice, char, oak, confectionery sugar at the end. Yeah, I was, I was, and it wasn't brown sugar. No, nope, confectionery sugar, and then it's uh, leaving me with a really fruity note. Um, Almost grapey to me. Yeah, I, I was going to go grapey, but then I'm like, mm, is it turning strawberry or is it grapey? <clears throat> no, but definitely I think grapey. It's grape, yeah. I think number three may have just took took the lead. That's nice. That first sip, as soon as it hit my palate, I was like, oh, this is so far, this is my favorite. Yeah, I'm thinking these are all, for my palate, they all seem to be drinking about the same, like, um, proof point wise. I think they're really similar. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm Right now, I'm at the, like the 105, 110 range, I think. Nice. Same pla flavor profile as I got the first time. That one I'm finishes with a little bit of a hug to me. A little bit of a hug, but I love that confectionery sugar in that, what we think is a grape note. Yep. Yeah, that's, but a, then, that's a really nice pour. As it lingers a little bit longer, it's more of a, like a little bit of a drying oak. It's like, it, it's real fruity. And then it, it yeah. slowly goes to a dry note. Yeah, it's, it changes. It's <clears throat> it's really cool. It really does all the way through. Mm -hmm. Which is great pour. Yeah. That that's a. I'm anxious to go back the other way um, to see how we like if we're thinking the same. 
But number three right now is probably going to be knocking at number one's door. Yeah, I like three. I, th I think from where we're at right now. Like you said, you go back through, everything changes. But. One number four. I'm getting a real chocolatey note on the nose. Chocolatey sweetness. No, it needs cherry. I know. I haven't. I haven't picked up any cherry yet. But the nose on this one is real um, malty, um, like the molded grain cereal mm -hmm. type note with the, like the chocolate to make Mike proud. I, I, it reminds me of when my kids were small and it was the cocoa puffs. The <laughs> nice, I, I like the nose on that one. That was a sweet bomb. Let me tell you, it was sweet. I have. I guess I'm just kind of shocked. It's like a dessert one. Like he like gave us the dessert one for last. Um, when I say sweet, I'm not saying sickeningly sweet. I'm just saying shockingly sweet um, compared to the other ones. Not sickeningly, but shockingly. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. So I wasn't getting all the breakfast cereal boxes that you were getting on the nose. I actually got a little bit of a spicy nose. Mm, I didn't get that. But the palate was nowhere near that. No. The palate was how you described the nose to me. <laughs> really. Well, to be fair, Cocoa Puffs are sweet. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> I'm just saying on the nose, I didn't get all those boxes of cereal that you were getting. But on the palate, I did. Definitely picking up the malty, the, the the cocoa. A little bit of your brown sugar on there. But I, it's more of a caramelized brown sugar. Then at the very end, a little bit of that baking spice. I don't I don't know. This one's really good too. Geez, Gandy, you really set us up with some nice pours. These are great pours. I'm anxious to see what they are, but I want to line them up first. So, it's going to be interesting. My lineup's going to be interesting. It is. It is. Right now, I can tell you that number two is probably going to be my last, unless it changes on my way back through. But, anyways, if you would, while we're going back through, take a minute to hit that like button. Leave us a comment, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We sure would appreciate all those things. Yes. All right. We're going to try to hurry. That back thing. I, I know. I like it. It's mm. good. I can't even tell you. I like give you a guess of the distillers these are all i mean this one is definitely finished in amberano cask but it doesn't taste like any of the cigar blends i've had or right. i really think it's a cigar blend and i'm gonna go out there and say it is a cigar blend i don't know if it is but it reminds me of cigar blends but she wants it to be i want it to be so it's going to be okay so we got that, number two, cigar blend. And if it's not, maybe we can somehow rename it and work that in there. Still the nose on number three. God, I love it. I do. <laughs> I do. You know what it reminded me? <laughs> Speaking of cigars, um, my dad used to smoke a pipe. Captain Black it had that vanilla, vanilla smell to it. 
Um, not that I was a fan of sitting in the smoke, but if you would walk through the smoke, it, you know, was okay. And it kind of almost reminded me that smoky vanilla nose that you would get when you're walking through people to smoke a pipe. Just curiosity, did your dad smoke that often? Oh yeah. Did he? Yeah. Because my dad had a pipe and he had a tin of Captain Black. Yep. And I vividly remember they, they lived in the cabinet above the refrigerator. Because, you know, that was the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, throughout my childhood, I can remember maybe, maybe three or four times Dad smoked that pipe. Oh. So, <laughs> not to get off subject here, but I, I think my dad smoked until I was in eighth grade, and that's when he had an accident at work and um, health issues and stuff like that, and the doctor said, you need to stop smoking. So, up until I was in eighth grade, he, he smoked that religiously. Uh, and so plus, it was, he was laid up, right? So, mm -hmm. so, he couldn't readily smoke. Right. But I'm telling you what, this really, truly reminds me of <clears throat> smelling Captain Black. <laughs> In the in the pouch, like the fresh before it was smoked. Hmm. <laughs> Good. So you talked about moving two to the back. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling we're going to have a mixed up line because I, I don't know if we're agreeing. Completely different. <laughs> you know, that's, it's funny if Brian and I ever really do line up the same because I find so much that our taste buds on this kind of stuff is completely different. It's. Well, I think if you surf a uh, whiskey tube, you'll find lots of couples that are going to vary. Mm -hmm. um, two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, when Mike and Mark and I did our last live show together, all three of us lined up exactly the same. That never happens. Never. And for three people to do it. Andy, thank you for such great pours. That's a My great lineup. Goodness. I can't, I like you, I can't wait to see what they are. Mm. I gotta taste these two again. See which one's going there. I was like cocoa puffs, I swear. <laughs> oh, Mike will be proud. However, when I just brought it up again, get a little bit of butterscotch on it. Fun. Butterscotch, huh? Mm-hmm. We are completely opposite. Like nothing, well, our third place comes in at the same. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. I don't, and, and honestly, once in a while we'll have something and we're like, yeah, we're not drinking that. But as usual, I, I would drink it with these. Thank you to our newest patrons, Alan Adams and Jaden G. Here is what we came up with. Um, I'm going to do mine since I'm reading. Um, my number one was letter B, or 
Shauna called it number two. Um, that is the A.M. Scott Rye Whiskey Cigar Batch finished in Amber on a Barrel. Uh, it's 116.5 proof. It's a seven year and it's an MGP product. So I was right, a cigar <laughs> batch. Yes. Um, and it finished fourth for me. Wasn't that it wasn't good. It just had a little bit of funk on the end that I couldn't figure out, and so that's why it landed fourth for me. Had but the Amberano in there, it which did. is one of my mm -hmm. favorite finishes. One of they have both of our fav um, favorite finishes. And that's probably honestly why it did well for me. Yep. Okay, so my number two would be letter C. So this is Ever North Spirit Walker Volume Two. Bourbon and rye whiskey finished in honey barrel with amber on a wood and it's 115 proof. So that is letter C or number three. So that's my number one, his number two. My number two. Awesome. Okay, another great pour, Gandy. Yes. Okay, my number three is letter D or Shauna's number four. Also um, my third place. That is a short barrel cigar batch finished in Armagnac, Cognac, Rum, Tawny Port Cask. It's 120 proof and again uh, another MGP. Huh. So another another great one. Another one. Yeah. Okay and last but not least for me and Shauna's second place, My second place which is letter A is a wheel horse finished in Sherry, Port and Armagnac 101 proof cigar blend. Yep. So what he's done is he has given us a bunch of finished mostly cigar blends. Mostly three out of the four are some sort of a cigar blend. Yep. Finished differently. They were great. Yeah. They were great, Andy. We have not had any of these at all. Um, not even any of the brands. So thank you no, for sharing these we with have us. Not. These, these have been great, and I plan on definitely looking up the Evernorth Spirit Walker because it was, to me, my number one, absolutely delicious. I, I love that one. So anxious to find out a little bit more about that one. Gandy also sent us a couple random JT Malik <laughs> uh, samples. We had never had JT Malik. It's Mel. it's. Uh, Malik. Malik. Okay, it's all 100% rice. Correct, yes. Okay, um, we had those the other night on our live show, if you guys tuned into that. They were delicious. Unbelievable. We, we have heard guys talk about them. Yeah, they're not available here in Ohio, but I can tell you that if we see them, we're going to pick up some. Yeah, we need to find them because yeah. they, are, they were really good. Yes. So Gandy, again, thank you for this incredible lineup and those bonus samples you sent us. So generous, um, such a generous guy. Not only did he send us this, I know I mentioned that at the beginning of the show, but he also gave us a bottle of the Eel Rare to do for our trivia um, grand prize. Thank you, Gandy. That was really sweet of you. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, Gandy. We appreciate that. And I know the community appreciates all the support. You're always on everybody's uh, commenting on their shows. You're always on lives. I see you on lots of lives. Anytime I log into one, it's like, oh, there's Gandy. So with that, with this incredible lineup, I think that's all we have for this evening. Yes, I, I do. I have a challenge. I'm going to find Ever North Spirit Walker. I, that's my challenge. And Watch it be some limited edition thing that I'll never get. <laughs> and remember, in a few days, guys, we'll be back with another episode, live episode. Of Trivia, of Trivia. Night on Wednesday. Um, if you haven't reviewed the standings, lots of you yes. guys uh, scored entries. Yes. For yeah. the grand prize. And a lot of, if, if you didn't, you're like almost there to get an entry. So yep. be sure to join back in. Yeah, definitely, because it's only going to yeah. take one entry. So. Absolutely. Okay. So I think that's all we have for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, everyone, be safe. Thanks, everyone.